Hello, and welcome back to another episode of ProMine Tip of the Month. Today, we will see how to create a simple drill and blast pattern and generate reports for our drilling and blasting. So in here, I have a drift inside of an ore body, and the mining method used here is long hole. So first, just to view this a little bit better, we're going to switch to 2D wireframe. And as we can see here, the drift is advancing in this direction. And we want to be able to insert our drilling and blasting in that section. So first, I'm going to go on plan view, zoom in this area here, and then go to essentials and use the command cut one section, which is located right here in the section module. So I'm going to name this section as section one, and then use the point azimuth command, which allows me to cut a section in a specific direction that I choose. So first I'll make sure that the ortho mode is on and cut a section in this location right here. Now look in this direction. I'm going to click no to change this to the other direction, which is looking east. Now, the program will automatically extract the east, north, and elevation, as well as the azimuth coordinates. And for the clips, I'm going to leave it by default, which is a thickness of 0 0.002. And I'm going to turn off this option here and make sure to choose the option Cut Objects. Hit OK. And the program will essentially switch to Section View, where you see your drift contours right here, as well as the ore outline. Now, the first thing to do is to draw the blasting outline. So to do that, use a simple polyline, a 2D polyline, and start from the drift here. I'll make sure to turn off my ortho mode and try to follow the ore outline as much as I can. Now in here, because it'll be hard to insert drill holes in a pointy section, I'll leave it as flat. So here I'm trying to cover as much as I can of the ore body, but you can always create two drilling and blasting patterns where you can use both of these drift contours. So once the blasting outline is done, hit enter and go to engineering one and select the command pivot line, which allows you to position the drill in the drift. Now you have many options here. The first option allows you to essentially insert a drill inside of the drift to see if it fits. So let's say that the drill will be something like this. You can also rotate it to see if this rotation will allow you to be able to insert this specific drill in the drift. So as you can see here, the drill already surpasses the drift from the top. So we know that this is not a good option here. So exit, and you can go back to pivot line and select a different drill or you can hit other and configure your own drill here. The second option, which is the easiest one would be a pivot line. So it's a simple, nice and clean pivot line that allows you to insert your holes from that line. You have other options as well, make arc pivot line or to insert a pivot point instead of a line. In our case here, we're going to select the pivot line so hit OK under the pivot line and select the drift contour and the program will automatically insert the pivot line as you can see here. Now go to configure parameters and follow what's written in the command line. Now this step is very important because it allows the program to know where to insert the holes from. So first I'll pick the pivot line, then the drift outline, then the blasting outline. And once the setup is completed, you'll get a message in the command line saying setup completed. Now you're ready to insert the holes. Now go to insert holes. And the program will prompt you to start from this point here. If you select no, this cross will switch to the other side. In this case, we'll start from this point. So hit yes. And you have many options of inserting holes. The most common one is the distribute, which allows you to distribute the holes evenly along the pivot line. So now select pivot and then select both angles from which the holes will pivot from. So from here and the other one is 
till here. And then you basically have the option to specify the number of holes or to set the whole bottom spacing, right? So I'm going to select the first option that allows me to configure the number of holes. So let's try 10 or 15, or you can insert as many holes as you want. And of course, the higher the number of holes, the better the blasting will be, but the higher the cost. So you want to find the optimal point where you get a good blast with the least number of holes as possible. So let's go back to 15 and hit G for go and exit. Now that I have these holes inserted, I can now insert the drilling report. So to configure the drilling report, go to the module options and then go to Customize Reports. Now in here, you'll see Drilling and Blasting. If you don't find these, then go to Add and add your report's name right here. And once it's added, click on the report that you created and select Edit. Now in here, you have a lot of options as you can see, but first and foremost, select the items that you want to be included in the drilling report. Here I have some very basic stuff, number, length, east, north, coordinates, angle, and remote drilling. So you also have the option to insert a reference line or many other options as you can see here. So feel free to navigate through this list and play around with these values to see what you want in the report. And once you insert an item, you can also edit it using this command right here. And in here you have even more options to edit this item. So in this case, I'll remove the remote drilling to only work with these items here. And all of these items down there, I'll leave it by default. So hit OK. OK one more time and OK once again. Now go to Insert Report, Drilling. Make sure that the number of first hole starts at 1. Report Language, you have three languages to choose from. And select Holes with Fence, yes. Hit OK. And you're basically going to draw a fence where to select your holes. So make sure that this fence covers all of the holes that you want to be included in the report. So once this is done, hit Enter. And the program will essentially annotate your holes with these numbers. And you also have the option to annotate these holes with more items as we saw in the options. And I'm going to insert the report right here and the program will then insert the section annotation. So I'm going to also display the drilling diameter and hit OK. And I'm going to position this right above my drilling. And here we have the section annotation where it shows the north, south directions, as well as other parameters right here. Now it's time to insert our loads. To do that, go to this command right here, load holes. And from here, you have some parameters to configure. First is the stemming and the collar length. So by default, it's 1.25, but feel free to decrease or increase that value depending on what you want. The explosive type, you have several options here, but these are configurable in the module options. And you also have the option to insert two bottom loads. And you also have the option to include stage explosives. So feel free to play around with these values here. And you can also change the diameter of each load and to insert a plug in case that you have a drift down there. So once these are configured, hit OK. Pick the starting point of the collar length. We're going to start at the beginning of each hole and select all the holes. So it doesn't matter if you select more objects when selecting the holes because the program only recognizes the holes as these right here. Once that's done, hit enter and the program will insert your loads. Now down there, I don't have much blasting going on. So what I want to do, I want to make sure that this absolutely goes off when the blasting starts. So I'm going to go to this drop down list and choose Edit Charge. Now I'm going to come down there and select, and I'd like to insert one meter of emulsion. So from 1.25 all the way till 
and then from 54.38 all the way to 55.38, that'll be emulsion. And I'm also going to insert a plug in case that there is something down there, since this is the last hole down here. All right, so hit OK. And we're good to go. Now our loads are configured and we're ready to insert the blasting report. Go to insert report one more time and choose blasting. Now, if you don't see this here, you're going to have to go to the module options and in customize reports, you're going to choose blasting and edit. In case you don't see this here, click add and insert the report's name and then select it from the list here and edit. And in here, you can configure the items list, just like we saw with drilling. Again, you have many options here, so feel free to play around with this and see what it gives you. And in here, I inserted some very basic items, such as the number, load from two, explosive type, etc. So once these items are configured, hit OK. OK one more time, and OK one more time. Now go to Insert Report again, Blasting. Make sure to select the right language for the report and select holes with fence. Hit OK. And once more, we're going to select the loads using a fence. So make sure to cover all of them and hit Enter. And I'm going to go right here and insert the blasting report. Now, as you can see, we have the blasting report for all the holes that we have right here. We have the load from and to, explosive type, collar, load length, and the plug, which we have one right here. And for the drilling report, we have the whole number, length, east, north coordinates, as well as the angle. Now to finish off, we're going to go to Essentials, Create Layout, in the Grid module, choose Layer 0, choose AutoCAD. PDF high quality print as your printer, paper size by default, pen style by default, and for the scale, we're going to choose 1 to 750. Erase the main grid and make sure that this is in landscape and hit OK and basically position this to have everything in the middle and hit continue. Now, this will very quickly generate a title block for you that you configured and you'll have your drawing included and this is ready for print. So for title one, you can, for example, say this is section one. For title two, you can say pattern and you can erase the file name here, which you don't need. And you can also include some other items here, such as the name, date, etc. Hit OK and the titles will be displayed down here. And I just realized that I wrote pattern instead of pattern. So let's go and edit this title block. And there you have it. You have your layout ready for print. So you can simply go control P. I saved it as PDF, but you can send it directly to the printer. Hit OK, save it on your desktop. And there you have it, your section as well as your reports ready to be sent to the operations team. And this concludes this ProMine tip of the month. Thank you for watching.